Yes, uh, we submitted our papers. So what we are waiting for now is uh, four o'clock, so that we we'll know who we'll be contesting with. But uh, all our papers are in order. We are ready for the elections, and we just wait to find out who the other contestants are. Some potential candidates are saying the ten thousand is too much for them. Potential what but if you want to be interested with the, the affairs of the country and you cry over 20,000, surely you are not serious. Rights and re responsibilities go end in end. My paper, I the Dr. Mnangagwa, I have been there for a can afford the chaya to ziva kutiva kwani sa kungeva chisa ma pepa kutiva ngeva chikukuita na ne sundiwa na mungati process yangu yaka di aiwa process yaka yaka na kachose atina kuwa na shuminga mpinyo pata enda kune sa ma pepa mama wapu chema chema ne mari imuruku shona se ai suma onero dunde kuti kana ukange wada kuti upiwe basa rakakura sezva kaita rekuti unge uchitonga nyika obva wachema kuti 20 yakawandisa kukana kukazenge wane mutoro wenyika yese President Emerson Monangagwa on Wednesday filed his papers to contest Zimbabwe's upcoming elections, insisting that the closely watched vote would be peaceful despite complaints of an opposition crackdown. The process is going very, very well, and I'm happy that Zimbabwe is now a mature democracy. He told reporters that lodging his application at a court in Harare. Zimbabwe goes to the polls on August 23rd to elect a president and legislature. This process is so peaceful. This is what we want and should continue now during the process of campaigning during the elections or post-elections, Munangagwa said. Last week, 39 opposition activists were charged with demolishing the offices of the ZANU PF party, which has been in power since independence from Britain in 1980. Earlier this month, five opponents were arrested for allegedly assaulting ruling party supporters. Critics have accused the government of using the courts to target opposition politicians and say there has been an increase in arbitrary arrests and repletion. In recent weeks, the opposition and NGOs have also denounced measures adopted in the run-up to the elections as being contrary to the constitution. The opposition has uh, complained about steep hikes in candidacy fees for the presidential elections, which have leaped from 1,000 in 2018 to 20,000 today US dollars. Even so, at least five other figures joined Mnangagwa on Wednesday in submitting their bid for the top job. Among them was leading opposition leader and Munangagwa's main challenger, Nelson Chamisa of the Citizens Coalition for Change. Chamisa said he was confident of beating Munangagwa in the vote, which is being held in a contest of discontent at a tragic poverty, economic hardships, and crippling power cuts. The greater the challenges, the greater the dimension of our courage, boldness, and fortitude to make sure that we win, Chamisa said outside court. There is no way Zimbabwe is going to remain the same way it is. Change is in the air, the 45-year-old lawyer and pastor said. Victory is certain. Thank you so much for watching.